Oh, Sagittarius, happy July 2019. Okay, so we had the solar eclipse and lunar eclipse this month in July. It was a great time to um, get aligned. And in August, we'll have two new moons and a full moon. So a great time to really use the new moon and using the full moon to charge yourself, recharge, and use the new moons to start up and restart things that you... Um, want to start or give more energy to your cycle of um, action for for those duration of time okay so i'm reading these cards a single a single you know individually so as a sagittarius birth sign or rising sign you will re relate to one of these cards okay so let's see the first one is five of swords so you may relate to this card what you're going through or will go through five of swords which is about cockiness um a big ego um you know rubbing it in people's face whenever they're not doing good or or and so on so really just checking in it could be you doing this or or you realizing this in someone else but really checking into you know one's character and um and so on Okay, the queen of staves, the queen represents that influential energy that is received really delicately, really well. So in the true power of the feminine power in the queen of staves, it's really getting things done and making the best of the situation that that person has. And this is really about being in your full action to making things happen okay and being just magnetic and and really standing out and it's it's you really at your best especially when it feels like you have nothing the queen of cups represents that um strong soft energy but you know it's powerful so you're not going to mess with it right and this is about really trusting your intuition and having compassion for yourself or whatever the situation is that you're going through. Seven represents, and the seven of wands is a, it's a fire energy, right? It, it's about faith and it's about competition. It's about persevering. So really, if, if you need to get into the mood of winning and persevering then this is a card to work with when you know you're feeling those challenges 10 is a completion so 10 of cups is asking you to again alignment and your happiness so this is like being around everyone that loves you you love them but it's like a celebration of um of joy of happiness and you feel really comfortable and completely aligned okay the t the emperor oh wow the emperor so if you vibe with the emperor it's you really um have used the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse and you really have a strong vision of of who you are where you're going and how you're going to put everything together okay it's really a powerful um card and it's really about being very um being a person of authority but having a good plan and having great structure the nine of staves is is asking you to really be sure and be complete in what you're doing and why you're doing it and it's a card of really resisting uh something that's going on and rightfully so so really knowing that you're in the right to protect yourself okay the chariot card is always that journey right that major arcana some of you might relate to this it's a win and it's that journey that turns into the win okay and the willingness to do something um being assured, being very sure of yourself, okay, and and really being in control, okay, and and very confident. The Knight of Coins. The Knights are all about action, okay, and when it comes to the Knight of Coins, it's about 
taking a pause and then moving forward. Okay. And knowing your routine, knowing your plan. The temperance card is a major arcana. That's all about timing and a combination of things. And, um, it could represent health, you know, seeking health or being of good health. It could also be, um, the temperance, of course, because it's a temperance card and it's a balance. So really weighing things out and being in the flow, being in sync with things and really hitting, being, being very connected. Okay. And understanding when, when things take time too. Yes. The fool, that zero, that beginner, that starting over again, that emptying out what you know and filling up with new information. Some of you might do that. Some of you might be on a new journey. Okay. And, um, serendipity also, or sp spontaneousness, right? So more like, um, more, more like spontaneousness. Okay. Um, being spontaneous and, and knowing that things will work out. It's really deleting all negative thought, deleting what you think, you know, and be open to new information. Love it. So I'm going to pull from the playing card. So make a wish or ask a question. Sag. All right. We have seven of staves. So seven, okay. Of stave is a male energy. It's all about the mind, air and element. Um, all the air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, it's associated with the season of winter and the color of indigo. Okay. And it's all about thought and challenge and observation. And it's associated with sword, of course, anything that's a knife, you know, a thane, a blade. Okay. And the seven of, of spade, um, is about, ad, okay. Advice you shouldn't take. Hmm. So an advice that you should not take. So really trusting yourself, um, in whatever is coming up, just really sitting with the information and not rushing and remembering that we're in Mercury retrograde until pretty much the third of August. We won't feel that, um, or have that type of, um, celestial movement. Okay. Um, where we want to right now be slow to communicate. Okay. And if you're communicating, don't do it in a way that will bring up any drama. Okay. So the 19th and the 20th, I'm going to pull a card for that. Where these cards just tell the energy of the, the of the month you might be going to. Okay. So, so Sagittarius, the 19th and 20th has death and the death card is, um, rebirth or physical death or letting go of something that you no longer need an ending, a transition, eliminating something that you don't need anymore. Okay. Um, now the 21st to the 28th, Sunday to Sunday in July. Let's see what this is all about. Okay. We have nine of coins. This is a good one. So nine of coins, um, again, the nine is very representative of um, fruition. Okay. And the pentacles are all about money and earth energy, all the five elements in one really luxury and gratitude, right? So it's really feeling whenever I see this is everything that you have that you've achieved. Um, and you feel like, you know, I did this find gratitude for it and feel good within your home where you live and really enjoy that. And, and be proud of what you have, but not so much of proud, but just being grateful for it. Because when you're proud for something, it's like, it's very arrogant. Um, it could, it could be very arrogant. It doesn't, being proud is good. Um, but you know, it could neglect your gratitude and the pureness and the goodness of whatever it is that's bringing you joy. Okay. So it's like holding it up on some kind of level. That doesn't make it good. The 29th through the 31st. Oh, 
Ooh, three of swords. So any heartache that comes up or any heartache that is fresh, brand new, you want to use the words to heal because usually it's words, um, feelings, thought, emotions that bring up that broken heart. Um, three of swords card when it comes to relationship. So using your words to really heal yourself through that. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys use the solar eclipse and the new and the lunar eclipse for your alignment and then using the moons coming up um, in August. All right. So definitely check me out on stories. I'm going to enable stories on the YouTube channel um, to just do some little behind the scenes, fun stuff, um, candid stuff, um, you know, videos and so on. I do post in the discussion part of the YouTube channel. So def definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk